Hello, welcome to Mobile Apps Academy. In this tutorial series, we will develop a cake shop homepage UI using Flutter. This is a two-part tutorial series. In this video, we will explore a circular avatar, custom shape for cart items, alignment of these things, and text headers. Here, let's get started. We will start by removing the default code generated by the Flutter. Create a new script and name it as homepage. Inside this, create a stateless widget and name it as homepage. Now go back to main and set this widget as entry point under material app. Remove debug banner by setting it to false. Inside the homepage, create a scaffold widget. Set its background to black. For body, we will start with padding widget. Set the padding of right and left to 25. For top, I am using 100 and for bottom, 10. We will be dividing whole UI into columns. Add a column widget as child of padding widget. Header is made up of a profile picture, a spacer and a cart item. Create a row under column widget. Profile picture consists of a circular picture and a text arranged in a row. Add a row. Under this, add a circular avatar widget. Set its radius to 25 and background color to orange accent. Child will be an icon widget. Below this, add a text with styling. To create a space between these two widgets, I am using a sized box of width 10. Now let's move this code into a new stateless widget and name it as avatar. To create a cart widget, add a container widget of height and width 85. To make the corners rounded, add a box decoration and set radius to circular. Also set its color to orange accent. This column widget consists of a sized box and two text. To create the top cart icon, wrap this container widget into stack widget. At the bottom, add a position widget. Under this position widget, we will use a container. Child of this container is an icon widget. To position it at the center top, set top to 24 and left to 20.125. As you can see, icon is clipping. To avoid this, set clip behavior of stack widget to none. That's it. Now let's create a stateless widget from this code and name it cart. Add a spacer between cart and avatar widget to move them into opposite directions. Similarly, to create text header of the product, add a row below this row. This consists of two texts separated by a spacer. Now, Wrap this into a separated widget and name it as text header. As we are going to reuse this same header for offers, let's make it dynamic. Create a string parameter inside the widget. Make it required inside the constructor. And pass this to text widget. An error is showing now. This is because we need to pass the string. For that, pass cakes. Perfect. We will end this video here. In next video, we will explore how to implement the product widget and bottom navbar. If you are watching till here, I hope you like the video. It would be very helpful and motivating to us if you could subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.